All right, hey everyone, welcome back again to another uh, tutorial, and this is going to be a, another quick, easy tutorial to do in, well, this is actually uh, about a half a minute, I mean half an hour, <laughs> half an hour after doing my solder tutorial, this video will be uploaded on another day, and as you can see, the solder is still in, looking good, I did the other parts, just that the glue for the other cannon side is just not holding on to well so I have to do everything again but either way that's not important right now so the purpose of this video is um like the Liger Zero Panzer there the HMM mode there's this like kind of like a scope above the cannon the hybrid cannon and um I wanted to have something like that on my gun you know even though if the Ligers don't really necessarily pull out the cannon and use their eyes to see through the scope whatever one not they help for like targeting system scanners or whatever you want to call it lens scopes Either way, they all just look awesome. And in order to achieve that, what I did once already before in my other customs, I uh, use these things called capacitors. And they're in the you know the thing for the computers, whatever. So uh, <clears throat> I took two of them, and make sure you have to find a size that will fit well on the weapon that you want to put it on, because you don't want it to be too big or too small. So over here. I have just about the right size because I really don't want this thing to be all too bulky looking. So I'm simply just going to place it somewhere around here, a little bit in the middle, facing forward or to the side. And of course, I'm not going to paint it in this video, but just to give you guys an idea of what to do and girls too who are out there into customizing. And remember, this is for Gundams and Zoids and any other kind of model kits that you're into. So the name of the video is going to be Gunpla or Zoids Gunpla tutorial or whatnot. And what you simply do, uh, this one is already glue. Um, you have your capacitator over here, and this is a bead that you can find in the hobby craft stores. There's a lot. There's like hundreds of them for a couple of bucks, and I have a few already. So what I did is took the bead, and usually when you pull out the capacitors, um, they have these little wires. Depending on how you cut them out, the wires are still sticking out in a bit. Uh, let me just get a little zoom in so you guys see what I'm talking about. You can see the little wires sticking out still. And that's kind of good because what you want to do is kind of, after you cut them and the little piece that's st uh, sticking out, you want to kind of separate them apart. So when you plug in the bead, it can hold it already. So you already got something that's holding it. And then you can always go ahead and glue it if you want to. So right now it's got quite a nice snug fit to it. So I'm not going to really attempt to glue this. And simply, because this one over here is glued already, um, like I said, you can just put it anywhere above here. Maybe move the camera over here. You get a better angle. There you go. And um, you can put some glue right underneath it. Just a little teeny weeny beeny beeny incy beeny bit. Okay, that was actually a lot, but still, it never hurts. And right above. Above. I know my hands are covering the way, but I really need to see what I'm doing. So you want to make sure they're in a they're facing straight forward and not bent or anything like that. Okay, so this looks straight enough, and you can always go back and take it out. And if there's any like panel lines or whatever, you can use it to kind of give it that accurate fit. But the thing about this is you want to make sure the other one is exactly. Um, the same area that you placed the first one. Now the reason for the bead in the back, you see now there's a hole there and of course we want to make this thing look as real as possible and in order to achieve this I got myself some blue wires and I'm not I'm gonna put the wires in now, give it the measuring, cut it, whatever and then eventually when I finish painting this in flat black then I'll return and add the wires. So for now um, what I was planning to do next was have like a little flat radar to the side and that radar is going to have like a bead or hole drilled into it and the wire is going to run from the scope to the radar and you know they have a nice wired effect look to it and because this wire here is nice and perfect fit it will simply just go in and you can always glue it trim it to the size you want and then plug it into the next available hole that you have and then you have this wired uh, scope so you give it the electronic feel to it like a modern feeling to it and then you get your aluminum tubes to the other side which just brings all the more details and the better details the more awesome it looks and it makes it looks even better because of the creativity 
and you're not just going online and purchasing pre-made stuff, what not. So once this is set, once you cut the amount of wires you need and then you plug it into the next part, it will look really, really nice. You can also just have something else run into the back. If you wanted to, you can drill a hole to the very end and just have the wire run from the yellow part all the way to the inside to the back, which I think is a better idea, you know, and what not. So that's basically it for this video. Of course, you got your other part over here and you just simply glue it onto this side over here so let's just say you have two of them now and that and of course spray paint it in flat back and if you want the um, the lens color effect in, in the center of the capacitor to the top you'll see the silver area once that's flat sprayed in flat black you can always go in and detail it with a metallic color or whatnot and if you want to have the sort of lens that stick out more just slap on one of these animal eyes over here. I'm going to place it on my nail. See this animal eye here? Once that's glued on top of the capacitor, like for instance here, and then you spray this in one color and then just detail it with a metallic lens color, you're pretty much good to go and you'll see the huge difference that this thing is. So that's it for this video. Peace it out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, let me know what you think, and stay tuned for more tutorials and ideas and whatnot. Ciao.